report shows that nearly 30 million people worldwide are living in some form of slavery. The Australian-based Walk Free Foundation has compiled a list ranking 162 countries by their prevalence of slavery, and it shows that Asia and Africa have the biggest number of slaves. Latsa Hook has more. Most people think of slavery as a practice of the past, but the Australian Walk Free Foundation reports that enslaving human beings as property still exists. Mining magnate Andrew Forrest, who helped fund the report, says there are more slaves today than ever before. There's been no era as prolific in terms of the growth of slavery, that exploitation of the very, I think, weakest, darkest side of the human mind that is willing to totally abuse for exploitation of greed, profit, sex, whatever it is, another human being. And in our population, as we sit in the modern day world, there's never been the number of slaves, probably even collectively, as there are in the world today. Modern day slaves are forced into unskilled labor, prostitution and domestic work. Children are not spared as they are forced to become soldiers, brides and workers at a very young age. The report says sub-Saharan Africa has the highest percentage of people enslaved, but the biggest number of slaves live in Asia, about 14 million in India and 3 million in China. Many illegal immigrants are forced into slave-like conditions in developed Western countries, such as this African worker in Italy. Here is where I sleep. Ten people sleep here. In some cases, people escape slavery and alert the authorities. Mexican police in June freed 275 people from a tomato plant where they were forced to live in unhealthy conditions and were paid only with food vouchers redeemable at the plant's store. A worker said those who got sick and could not work would get beaten. They go to your room, kick the door open and tell you, go to work now. If one does not go to work in the field, you are not given any food, no food. Forrest says the Walk Free Foundation's index is aimed at fighting the abuse of human worth. The idea of the slavery index is to now properly measure it, top down, academically, government by government, by government around the world. It's long overdue. We have to do it so we can fight it. If you the Walk Free Foundation is working to eradicate slavery by pointing out where it is prevalent and where governments could do the most to reduce the global number of slaves. Zlatica Hoek, VOA News, Washington. We want to know what you think about Africa 54. Join the conversation on Facebook and check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com.